finished that round, which was round 31. So now we're going back to our directions, our pattern here. And rounds 32 through 43, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around. And so we just begin with our single crochet, moving our stitch marker, and single crocheting one stitch in every stitch. So I'll meet you back here when we've completed through to round 43, and we'll move on to round 44. These are my last stitches on round 43. So I've done 32 through 43, and this is what it looks like. Remember to continue stuffing and shaping as you go along. So now the pattern says we're on round 44. Single crochet two together, and then single crochet in the next four stitches. So we're going to begin that. This is our first stitch right here with the stitch marker in it. We're going to single crochet two together, and you remember how that's done. That's single crocheting, just pulling up a stitch, and then going into the next stitch and pulling up a, a loop there so that you've got a total of three on your hook. Wrap and pull through all three. So now we're going to move our stitch marker. So the pattern said we single crochet two together and then single crochet in each of the next four stitches. So here we are, one, two, three, and four, and now we repeat. So I have single crochet, that was my last stitch. That was round 44, crossing that off. The next round is 45, and it says single crochet, two together, single crochet in each of the next three stitches, and then repeat from the asterisk. So here we're decreasing, and I'll show you that. We're taking one stitch. So we're going into this one. That's our first stitch and into the next one. So single crocheting two together. We're basically taking two stitches and making them one. So that's making this diameter smaller. So we're moving our stitch marker. We single crocheted two together and now they want us to have three single crochets in between. Some of my stitches are a little tight here. So one, two, three, and then it says repeat from the asterisk. Repeat around from the asterisk. So we're going back to the asterisk, single crocheting two together, and then single crocheting in the next three stitches. So we just continue to repeat that. So we've got two single crochets together, and then one, two, and three, and repeat. Okay, so that was my last stitch on that round, and that was round 45. So moving on to round 46, we're going to single crochet two together, and then single crochet in each of the next two stitches, repeat around from the asterisk, so that would put us back to the beginning, single crocheting two together, single crocheting in the next two stitches. So we begin by single crocheting two together, moving our stitch marker out of the way here. So we're going in to the first stitch and into the next stitch, single crocheting those together, putting our stitch marker back in. And now we have two single crochets, one and two. 
and then two single crochet together and single crochet one and two. We're on round 47 and we're going to single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next stitch and repeat from the asterisk. We're going to have a total of 12 stitches. So for round 47 we begin with single crocheting two together. So we've got one and two, single crocheting them together, moving our stitch marker. And then we have one single crochet and repeat. Single crochet two together and one single crochet. my last stitch. Okay, for the last round on the giraffe body, we're on to row 48 or round 48, and we're going to single crochet two together around, and you should have a total of six stitches. So we're basically trying to close this hole up as best as we can, um, and I'm just going to take the stitch marker out now. This is our last round, and you just begin single crocheting two together and you just repeat that all the way around okay now before you totally totally close it up make sure that you've stuffed it as firmly as you need it or as you'd like it. I'm going to have to take a couple of stitches out kind of jump the gun a little so as you can see as we're going around and single crocheting the two together getting a little tighter and we're closing up that hole right there on the bottom and I just continue to go around single crocheting two together until it's closed so I've kind of closed that hole up now I'm just going to cut this off and you can pull it through and knot it down. You can also go through the center pulling your tail into the center and inside the body.